so this is the uh, original file he sent me and uh, so if the image viewer does not complain that I cannot open it I don't, do not recognize it it's not a supported format or any kind of those, uh, messages then the header is probably okay it, it, at least it has a weather it uh, at least it has a header it can work with so then uh, we don't need a reference file or anything we uh, we will instead patch the actual image data because then if it's not the header then the next part is the actual image data now if if if, if, if an image is partially uh, distorted or or entirely or uh, uh, gray or a large gray block then this is mostly due to uh, byte combinations inside the image data that are interpreted by a photo viewer or a photo editor as JPEG markers. Uh, JPEG markers always have a uh, uh, always start like uh, FF which is the, the in decimal is 255 then uh, then there's a number that uh, tells the decoder what kind of marker it is, so like a uh, exit marker or uh, and the file marker, and so it will, as soon as it sees FF, it will say, okay, this is a marker. The next byte will tell me what to do. Now, if if it's just uh, if it's corrupted data, so FF something that doesn't represent any valid marker, the decoder will just hang and stop decoding. So, uh, one of the main things that the patcher does is getting rid of those invalid byte pairs inside the uh, JPEG bitstream. One of the things that can happen, so if data corrupts, it can, it can become anything, so, uh, and, and it can also become uh, FFD9, which tells any image decoder, you have reached the end of the image, you can stop decoding now. So if you have a byte pair FFD9 somewhere here right at the start, then the image decoder will stop decoding and you will get this large gray block. The header still says, okay, this is a file of, of the dimensions 4928 times 2364. Which will then be re rep represented by this gray uh, area. Um, okay, I'll fire a JPEG repair and I will tell it what we're going to patch. And we'll uh, go to the file. Here it is. Now I always just click OK now and try to repair. Sometimes, because, and then it will get rid of all these ff something byte pairs and um, a 9 out of 10 cases that will at least get the image to render again and until the end <clears throat> jpeg repair also honors this ffd9 uh, byte combination as the end of a file <coughs> And in your case, when I try OK and I say repair, then it will just hang on me. There, so there is a bigger problem here. I'm, I'm going to explicitly tell it to ignore uh, end of image markers and uh, just keep decoding until it re reach the end of the file. So, OK, repair. It says it, it detected the invalid JPEG markers and it attempted to remove them. So normally it will prompt you then to load the file it created now. Uh, I will address this because this message is not uh, really correct. It's not really correct now. It should prompt you now to load the file. So I will do that. This is the file it now created. We can now skip this because it took care of that now. Click OK, click Prepare. 
again, I did the, the valid debit marker and then I removed them. Basically, with those um, uh, files with restart markers, it tells you it found restart marker here. This is as far as, a, as JPEG repair can take you. Um, because it's built in decoder, which will allow you to remove bytes and add bytes and modify bytes, does, know, does not know how to work with these, with these restart markers. In general, files with restart markers, once, they, once we've gotten rid of those invalid JPEG markers, will have the correct colors and everything, and will have all the parts, but the order of the parts may be wrong. So, basically, what we can try to do is... Um, oh, this is disabled as well. Okay, I, I'm going to address that, because that's inconvenient. But, uh, let's save this file, so now we can um, close this. Here it is. It also, it always automatically saves those files. So basically, the best we can do now is um, uh, open it in something like Photoshop or Paint.net and, um, and make sure we get the parts in the correct order. And, and that is basically the best. I mean, you said okay, a professional can do this or what, but basically, I clicked. Two or three buttons in JPEG repair, and uh, and uh, so and and this photo editing. I'm not a real professional photo editor, so <coughs> I don't know if you are, but okay, I'll I'll show you my clumsy way of how I would address this. Uh, ideally, you create another file of the same dimensions, which is easiest by. Uh, Selecting this all and copying it, and then say new file. And because you have a, uh, a photo in on the clipboard now of these dimensions, it will automatically suggest okay, we'll have these different dimensions. And this is it. So basically, I'm not, not going to do anything more here. And then I'm going to deselect this, and then you need to basically as precisely as you can. Uh, take this part, uh, copy that, paste it, and now we want to uh, we want to just move it to the other side. You can drag it. I'm using uh, Control and the arrow key now. Okay, and then we go back here, Control D, deselect, and now I'm gonna try to precisely as possible get the other part of the file. Come back here, deselect this. You, uh, probably you can do all kinds of stuff with layers, but I'm not uh, good at that. So, and now we have this, which we will then move to the other side. I'm gonna overshoot a little and then. Or, yeah, okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then basically. That's it, and and to get rid of the, the 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 little stuff we don't want, we just select the good part. Uh, okay, this is just to show the idea, and then say crop to selection, and then we'll have then then basically that's it. We save that, and that's the file I I sent you. So I hope this explains things. If you have any more questions.